Hi world! Hello everybody! How are you? I trust that you guys are doing great. Right? I trust and I hope that you guys are doing fabulous. Because it's a beautiful, wonderful, magical, fun, amazing, blissful and peaceful day to be alive. I am always grateful to be alive. I am always thankful to be alive, right? They say gratitude is a must. So we must be thankful and grateful to be alive, to live to see another beautiful day. Guys, thank you for the support. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for commenting. And thank you for subscribing. It means a lot. Thank you, everybody. And with that, let me send you love, peace, happiness, joy, and abundance in all good and amazing things. Receive it now. Receive peace of mind. Receive healing to your mind your body and your soul it begins with you right choose wisely like i always say it's a choice you can choose to be happy or you can choose to be sad you can choose joy or you can choose misery it's always up to you it's a choice so choose wisely and carefully okay guys and again thanks for the support I really really appreciate it and thank you all of you who have subscribed and who have watched thank you very much now we're going to jump into chapter 9 of the same book you can do it by John Mason right mm. chapter 9 says there is no future in the past there is no future in the past if you look backward too much You'll soon be heading that way. If you look forward too much, you'll soon be heading that way. Mike Murdoch said, Stop looking at where you have been and looking at where you can be. Right? A lot of us we keep thinking about the past, where we have been, what what has happened in the in the past, you know? Mm -mm. Stop looking at where you have been and start looking at where you can be. Your destiny and call in life is always forward, never backward. Your destiny and call in life is always forward, never backward, right? Catherine Mansfield advised, Make it a rule of life never to forget and never to look back. Make it a rule of life never to regret and never to look back. Regret is an appalling waste of energy. That is why I always say, do not regret anything. Anything is a lesson. You live, you learn, you grow, and you, and you love. Right? Never regret anything. So, regret is an appalling waste of energy. You can't build on it. It's only for wallowing in. Consider the words of Apostle Paul. Forget, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus, right? That's Philippians chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. You are more likely to make mistakes when you act only on past experiences. You are more likely to make mistakes when you act only on past experiences. Do you know how much of us are afraid to go forward because we're afraid of what has happened in the past? 
all the bad experiences we've had with other people and we we just can't move forward because we're scared to move forward and it's not good rosy thoughts about the future can't exist when your mind is full of the blues about the past rosy thoughts about the future can't exist when your mind is full of the blues about the past a farmer once said his mule was awfully backward about going forward right mules are always backward when they're going forward so the farmer said his mule was awfully backward about going forward this is also true to, to many people today are you backward about going forward philip raskin said the man who wastes today's lamenting yesterday will waste tomorrow lamenting today the man who wastes today lamenting yesterday will waste tomorrow lamenting today squash the good old days Squash the good old days bug. The past is always going to be the way it was. Stop trying to change it, right? The past is always going to be the way it was. Stop trying to change it. Your future contains happiness than any past you can remember. Your future contains more happiness, right? Your future contains more happiness than any past you can, rem you can remember. Believe that the best is yet to come. And I, I, I am a very optimistic person. I always believe in the best. So believe that the best is yet to come. Though no one can go back and make a brand new start, anyone can start from now and make a brand new ending though no one can back and make a brand new start anyone can start from now and make a brand new ending that's by Carl Bard consider Oscar Wilde no man is rich enough to buy back his past sorry guys the wind no one no man is rich enough to buy back his past yes take note of what wr ing said events in the past may be roughly divided into those which probably never happened and those which do not matter events in the past may be roughly divided into those which probably never happened and those which do not matter. The more you look back, the less you will get ahead. The more you look back, the less you will get ahead. Right? The less you get ahead when you look back. Don't we all know that? Thomas Jefferson was right when he said, I like the dreams of the future better than the history of the past. I like the dreams of the future better than the history of the past. Many a has been lives. Sorry. Many a has been lives on the reputation of his reputation. Many a has been lives on the reputation of his reputation. Herbert Humphrey mused. The good old days were never that good. Believe me. The good new days are today. And better days are coming tomorrow. Greatest songs are still unsung. I've always heard that quote. Our greatest song, songs are still unsung. When you are depressed, you find that it is because you are living in the past. You are living in your head. The could-haves, the should-haves, the what-ifs. Yes. 
when you rest you will find that it is, be it is because you are living in the past what's a sh what's a sure sign of stagnation in your life what's a, a sure sign of stagnation in your life when you dwell on the past at the expense of the future that's that is a sure sign of stagnation when you dwell on the past at the expense of the future you stop growing and start dying hmm. when you dwell on the past right at the expense of your future you stop growing and start dying very deep no 6 7 verse 10 said do not say why were the former days former days better than these for you do not inquire wisely concerning this how many times have we heard this heard people talking about oh the good old days are the former days were better do not say why were the former days better than these for you do not inquire wisely concerning this. I agree with Laura Palmer's advice. Don't waste today regretting yesterday instead of making a memory for tomorrow. Don't waste today regretting yesterday instead of making a memory for tomorrow do you know how many people do that the waste today regretting what they did yesterday and they're not making any happy memories for tomorrow that is why i say happiness is the ultimate success you must always choose happiness right david mcnally reminded your past cannot be changed. No, let me say that again. Your past cannot be changed. You can't change your past. So why are you dwelling on the past, worrying about the past, replaying the past over and over in your head? Let it go. No matter what is happening to you or what has happened to you. Well, you might say, oh, you don't know what I've been through. Let it go. Forgive others, forgive yourself, and forgive your past. Make peace with your past and move forward. Right. Like I said, you cannot, your past cannot be changed. But you can change your tomorrow by your actions today. Change your tomorrow by your actions today, right? Never let yesterday use up too much of today. Do you know how many people are guilty of that? Letting their yesterday use up too much of today? They're so focused on yesterday that they are not appreciating what is happening today. They are not grateful for even being alive today and that is so bad that is why a lot of people head into depression we do not appreciate today where they are thinking oh that could have happened oh that no it's unhealthy even for your health be very mindful It's true what Sachel Page said, don't look back. Something may be gaining on you. Don't look back. Always keep moving forward. Something is gaining on you. Living in the past is a dull and lonely business. Living in the past is a dull and lonely business. Looking back strains, strains the neck muscles, causing you to bump into people not way. Hmm. Hmm. Looking back strains the neck muscles, 
causing you to bump into people not going your way. That's by Edna Ferber. The first rule for happiness is to avoid lengthy thinking on the past. The first rule for happiness is to avoid lengthy thinking on the past. Nothing is as far as away one hour ago. Nothing is as far away one hour ago. Charles Kettering added, you can't have a better tomorrow if you are thinking about yesterday all the time. You can't have a better tomorrow if you are thinking about yesterday all the time. Your past doesn't equal your future. Your past doesn't equal your future. End of chapter 9. Now, a lot of people, their past, they dwell on their past so much. Yes, it's hard, especially those childhood trauma but you have to accept it and make peace with it that is the only way you will have a better future do you know how many people their past are holding them back holding them back for years upon years some people die without letting go of the past they hold on to the to the past for years and years and they never get a chance to fulfill their purpose or enter into their destiny just because, because of the past. Just because of the past experiences they've had, whether that be with parents, grandparents, siblings, a lot of people, they've been through it. But just let it go, just let it go. Start brand new start afresh and embrace your future because your future is much much more happier than your past right your future is what you what you make it life is what you make it so if you keep dwelling on the past how are you going to have a bright and beautiful future all of us can can enjoy happiness it's there it's waiting but we let the past steal our happiness. We continue to let the past overshadow our purpose and our destiny. Live life without regrets. Accept it. Lessons learned. Move on. Who doesn't love you, love them anyway. If you have to love them from afar, love them in nature. But let go. Forgiveness is the best thing for you especially for your health. We all know that studies have shown stress has done to the human body and keep doing to the human body. Let it go and move forward. Life is beautiful. Life is wonderful. Life is happy. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for everything. Bye.